The rainy season this year, which usually lasts from February to March, then June to September, was short and not enough. The impact was severe on crop production from the first harvest. The Ethiopian Meteorological Agency reported at the end of July 2015 that the rain was much below normal and only sporadic in large parts of the country. The impact has caused a shortage in food production. The rain is very little. We fear animals will die and people may starve. We cannot produce enough crops. We cannot get water for consumption too. In the villages, people rely on harvesting rainwater in boreholes so that they can use it for their consumption. Without rain, now there is no water for home use. In the southern pastoral areas of Ethiopia, the situation is slowly improving, but the crisis remains heavy in the northeast and eastern parts of the country. A report from the United Nations Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, says the number of food insecure people dependent on relief food assistance is expected to increase by 1.6 million, majorly because of the drought. In the past year's production was good. At that time we would harvest a lot, but now with less rain we can't produce enough to have what to consume and extra to sell. We're operating on a hand-to-mouth basis. When the rain is enough, it's good. Even our animals are healthy because the grass grows and they can feed well and have water to drink. Without rain, everything is dry. The effects of the water shortage are already being felt in other parts of the country that depend on food supply from the drought-stricken areas. Staple market prices have been increasing steadily since March and food supply has decreased. UNICEF has already raised the alarm on an increase in malnutrition rates amongst children under five in the drought areas. Coletta Anjoy for Press TV in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa.